Welcome to part five. Livestock and Bibles. The wires came up out of the ground whilst he lay on the grass asleep like serpents they were, and they burrowed into his ears and became his listening. Oh, sounds lovely. Stoud man uh, made a clip on Twitch here of uh, when Rosie scared the shit out of me <laughs> and entitled it A Wild Rosie Appears. For those of you watching on YouTube, that was in the previous episode, so go and check that out. Although I don't know why you'd be starting with episode 5, that's just silly. Every horror game needs its, its obligatory creepy church. Alright, so that goes upstairs. Well, let's look around down here first. These doors do have some weight to them, which is nice. November 23rd, 1899, twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all of the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Interesting. mask. I'm almost beginning to think the pig mask signifies when there's something significant nearby, or perhaps a puzzle to be solved. Another staircase. I'm guessing these both lead to the same area, just a different side of the same area. Ginormous candles. Very cool. I'm not going to open any doors just yet. Just going to kind of take a look around at the main area here first. Yeah, no, that's not open. Yeah, okay, there's the other staircase. Damn all these creepy breathing sounds. Ooh, pretty pictures. Oh, here's a closer look at that massive temple thing from before. It's awesome. It's like something out of Game of Thrones, to be honest. Or rather, Game of Thrones looks like things like this. Because <laughs> I'm sure that that painting came long before Game of Thrones. Ah. Your face shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. One of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. All right. Damn you, creepy breathing sounds.
That's great. I love hearing blood curdling screams coming from the direction that I'm heading. It's always a confidence booster. <clears throat> Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now, or once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. Now, drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that Mandus distributes... Hey, that's me! My church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico, it is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often changed to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares, to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Wow. Well, didn't don't, don't I sound like I was just the big philanthropist of food and stuff. That's wonderful. Uh, so before we... Okay, so these are all doors that just kind of lead around. Ah, jeez. The Phantom of the Opera! Lovely. Second candlestick, maybe? <sighs> that was awesome pipe organ music, by the way. I love pipe organ. Probably have a few entries in the journal by now. A fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape, grasp this container and its putrid contents, and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man, returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto hallowed ground. Well... I don't know, there seems to be some abominations in this hallowed ground. Inside St. Dunstan's, we sat here, I remember. We sat here in our black, and we mourned, we prayed, and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then, how I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags. I know my path awaits me. Okay. Oh. A lever to be pulled. Whoa. The hell? What the hell? Why did it start laughing at me? Is there another one over here? Yes. Here. So we've got the 
lever. that's something we need to do somehow at some point, but I guess not now. So... I'm just going to take a little scan down the pews here, just in case there's any notes or anything hiding in one of them. What's this? No. It's like, why is he... Wow, that, that was a really heavy teddy bear. Like, I was not able to chuck him very far. See, I don't know if that's the sound of the creature, or if it's just ambient sound. The subtle, uh, rising music is reminiscent of Alien. Stairs, weren't we? No, we've already been downstairs. Was there more downstairs error that we could go? Ah, yes. Um, fine. into that. That help. That did not sound like just ambient noise. That sounded like something here. around? Anything at all? I think so. Ah! <laughs> I did that to myself. That's great. Oh, you know, we didn't look at the stained glass windows. Oh, they, like, totally converted this whole church into, like, uber pig worship. So there's the machine. Pigs. And more machine. Oh, wait a second. Uh huh. That is it. I wonder. I don't see anything else I can pick up. Manipulate. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yes, I can turn. I can put on all the candles. There we go. Probably a good idea. Is that all 
all of them. Well, that's it's a lovely display. I turned that. Hmm. Well, let's see if that affected anything in the other room here. Wait a second. I wonder. Can I turn this one on? No. Really? I thought that might, uh... Hmm. Well, I mean, there's another spot here. I'm thinking maybe we need to get another one of these kinds of candles and shove it in there. But, um, but from where? Can't just take one off the wall. It, it doesn't actually let me touch them, so. But these ones, one of these? One of these? No. Uh, maybe a loose one laying around that uh, we didn't see. Let's um, let's check out these candles. I know there's something lurking around here. And maybe, maybe on the table in the other room. Okay, there's nothing here. Like I haven't seen any any loose objects really. I mean, it does seem to require us to carry things long distances. Maybe there's something down here that we missed. Take a look around. Is there anything at all that I can manipulate? No. Manipulate myself to pornography. <laughs> yes, I don't think that will help us solve this particular puzzle. This is where the sound's coming from, down there. <sighs> Anything in the journal? Ah, a cryptic clue. Some kind of mechanism. A secret and infernal one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer. But why? This I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? And where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar as if someone was pulled away? Drag marks about the altar. Perhaps that is a hint. Okay, and we've hit our first what the fuck do I do puzzle. Excellent. We all knew that was coming. Oh, wait a second. What about in here? I forgot about this room. There's got to be something here. Cool. Some nifty things in here. 
wait a second. I saw a hand. I saw a hand. Put it on the other side. Ha ha! There it is. Excellent. We got it. It was that simple. It was literally just a matter of finding the object. looks pleasant and inviting. What a cheerful place. In the bowels of... Oh, Jesus! Okay. Well, nowhere to go but forward. Nobody here but us chickens. that noise that just went through my head? Because I'm wearing headphones. God! <laughs> Jesus! Uh, okay, we're gonna go in the dark. We don't know how to attract it with the light. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Oh, is it... It was just things manifesting in the ch Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. These final thoughts. What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What bestitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found, yet I leave you this, scrawled in the malodorous half-light. Whilst my tormentor shuffles below, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom, 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 and where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is finally my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. Okay. 
the creature was here. God, that was really freaking close. Uh. Silence, do not startle or upset the acquisitions. Sorry, I don't speak your language. Mm, potatoes and rats make a delicious stew. Oh God! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Really? I even I, I managed to scooch over there and uh, you won't let me do it. Oh god. so quiet and we know there's a creature running around in here. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I think well we've got candle light. Keep the lantern down so as not to attract too much attention.
There he is. I see him. Oh my god. Which way is he going? Jet, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No! Run! Try to run away, and I'm dead. I, I thought I could back away, but I could not. Oh. Oh, he put me in the cage. <laughs> Excellent. So that's how you get into the cage. You let the pig man beat the shit out of you. <laughs> ah. All right. a little too close. Right, we want to go down this way. Z for Zarin Isaac. Guessing we're just trying to find the exit from this place. Oh, we made it. End of part five. Thank God. <laughs>